free education a complete educational solution students your final exam will be started soon so in this video we will try to revise our social science book completely वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आपने अभी तक मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो इसे सब्सक्राइब कर ले वीडियो अगर अच्छी लगे तो कमेंट बॉक्स में लिखकर जरूर बताएं। तो चलिए हम लोग स्टार्ट करते हैं लेट्स रिवाइज फर्स्ट वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ लेसन वन द फैमिली सो लेट्स रिवाइज द इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्ट अबाउट दिस लेसन विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर कमिंग एग्जाम A family is the basic unit of society. It consists of two or more members who are either connected with the blood relationship, love or kinship. Our parents love and care for us. Our grandparents tell us stories. All our needs are fulfilled within the family. Each family member is important and special. Family members help each other. Families celebrate important occasions together. A family can be either small or big. A small or nuclear family consists of father, mother and their children. A big or joint family consists of several members such as grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, etc. There is a bond of love among the family members. They take care of each other and share their happiness. Students, all of you remember these points carefully, which is important to get good grades. Next we will going to discuss the important points of lesson 2 family similarities so let's revise the important facts about this lesson which is very very important for your coming exam members of a family often resemble each other sometimes the resemblance is very little but sometimes the features of a child are very much like the father mother sister brother or even grandparents Relatives resemble one another because they share the same genes and environment. Family members do not only look similar but sometimes they have even similar voices. The twins looking exactly alike are called identical twins. In some families, the food habits or dress sense of some of the members may be similar. Many children follow the occupations of their parents or relatives. The members of the family may live together or far away but they all share their joys and sorrows. So, you all should remember these points. Next we will going to discuss the important points of lesson 3. Our food. So let's revise the important facts about this lesson which is important for your coming exam. There is great variety of food items available in different parts of India. Each area has its own speciality. There are some dishes that are cooked only on special occasions like festivals, marriages or birth of a child. The food habits of the people depend upon two factors the climate and the crops grown in that area. The people living close to the sea coast eat a lot of fish and use coconut in their dishes. The people of Punjab grow a lot of wheat and therefore chapatis dominate their diet. The food habits and tastes of people are changing because they are moving from one part to another within the country and outside the country. Most of the food items that we eat come from plants and animals. Wheat, rice, pulses, fruits, vegetables, etc come from plants. We get milk, eggs, mutton, chicken and fish from animals. So students you all should remember these points for your coming examination. Next we will going to discuss the important points of lesson 4 our dresses so let's revise the important facts about this lesson which is very very important for your coming exam india is a land of diversities these diversities can be seen in dresses too the people of india wear a variety of dresses women wear dresses like sari salwar kameez skirt jeans trousers etc Men wear kurta pajamas, lungi, dhoti, tamat, jeans or trousers. In some parts of India, people prefer to wear warm woolen clothes and in other parts, they wear cool cotton dresses. Dress sense of the people depend on the climate of the area and the culture and tradition of the people in that area. 
people living in hot and humid climate wear cool cotton clothes whereas those living in the cold climate wear thick woolen clothes. The dresses that people wear are made up of different types of materials like cotton, silk, wool, nylon, etc. The culture and tradition of an area also influence people's dresses. Burqa is worn by Muslim women. Firan is worn in Kashmir. People of India also wear a great variety of ornaments such as earrings, bead necklaces, nose rings, bangles, bracelets, etc. A great variety of dances can also be seen in India. Each dance form has its own special costume and jewelry. So all of you definitely remember these points for your upcoming annual exam. Now we will revise next lesson, which is lesson number 5. The early man. Let's revise the important points about this lesson. Early man moved from one place to another in search of food and water. He ate fruits, nuts, flesh of animals, etc. He hunted animals using stones. With the passage of time he gave shape to the stone tools. Another important tool was the spear. By and by early man discovered fire. He came to know the various uses of fire. Now he began to cook raw meat. Very soon he became a food producer. He was no longer a hunter or a food gatherer. He started growing grains. As a food producer he didn't need to wander here and there. He began a settled life. His settlements were close to the rivers. Various changes came to be seen in early man's life. He sowed seeds, watered plants and waited for the grains to ripe. He also started making better tools, baskets and pots for storing and cooking the grains. These are the important points about this chapter. So you all listen and remember these points. Now next we will revise the important facts about lesson 6. Learning about works. So let's revise the important points related to this lesson, which is very important. Mother or father is the first teacher of a child. Children learn everything very quickly. They can do dusting, peel vegetables and lay the table. Children also learn their parents' occupations. A farmer's child easily learns the art of farming. Jobs like embroidery, pottery, tailoring, etc. are done at home. These jobs need special training. Sweepers, handcart pullers, hawkers, coolies do not need special training. People learn by watching them. Professions like pilot, doctor, engineer, architect, teacher, etc. need special education and training. These professions cannot be taught inside the house or by watching other people. A potter needs the clay and shape objects from it. A pilot flies an aeroplane. A doctor looks after our health. An engineer designs and makes machines, buildings, houses, roads, etc. These are the important points about this lesson so all of you listen and remember it. Next we will discuss important points about the lesson 7. If you believe, you can, you will. So let's revise the points. Dr. A.P.J. Abul Kalam, the 11th President of India, belonged to a very ordinary family. But his dreams were extraordinary. He achieved excellence by dint of hard work and honesty. He is one of the great inspiring personalities in the world. Education enables us to fulfill our dreams. Unfortunately, there are many people in our country who do not understand the importance of education. Instead of sending their children to school, they get them employed at dhabas, factories, etc. Although child labor is illegal in our country, it is seen almost everywhere. Thousands of poor children are forced to work to fulfill the needs of their families. They do not have a chance to play and enjoy their childhood. Only education and training can improve their condition. We must remember that education is the right of every child. These are the important facts about this lesson. So you all should listen these facts again and again to remember. Next we will going to discuss the important points of lesson 8. Let us enjoy. So let's revise the important facts about this lesson which is very very important for your coming exam. 
Lunch break in school is the favorite time of the children. Everyone relaxes and gets ready for the work ahead. At home, children enjoy playing in the evening after finishing their homework. They play various games. There are many children who spend their leisure time in writing poems or singing songs. These leisure time activities become their full-time occupation when they grow up. Not only children but grown-ups too need leisure time. They also want to play games like basketball, volleyball, cricket, badminton, etc. Women like to knit or embroider together in their leisure time. They also love to exchange recipes. Grown-ups also spend their leisure time in reading newspapers, books, household jobs, watching television, etc. So, students all of you definitely listen it again and again to remember these facts about this chapter to improve your grades.